All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching To Your Eternity episode 13. We are back after the week break and we most certainly needed that week break because oof, the last episode was rough. Still haven't fully recovered from it and now going straight back into this, all these memories are going to come back uh, of the moments probably and we get this new arc for new pain, you know? So really looking forward to that uh looking forward to that halfway through the season no wait we're not halfway through the season it's a 20 episode season yeah uh anyway uh as always guys like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's go into this episode right now now fushi understands that he needs to actually train to defeat these goddamn monsters Oh, poor Fushi. Couldn't even understand his own emotions. Oh, yeah, the monster took March, didn't it? Oh. Did it take March? I think it took March. Oh, March. It's because you're the only one that's immortal, basically. So did the knockers just not fuck with anyone before Fushi existed? Like, what the hell? Did he become a pair? Does he want someone to eat him? So he'd potentially still be able to turn back into things if he went back to his old form. But he would lose all the forms he has now? Or does he just mean he will never gain the ability to turn into things again? Hmm. I thought this dude was like a god. Like, why would he... Why would he... What's going to happen to him? Why is he going to go away? Nah, Fushi, you care about humanity, bro. You can't let these people die. Or you can try your best and not let any more people die. Oh my god. <laughs> Didn't think we'd see her again. This has got to be the longest running character on this show apart from Fushi. Oh, at least they're staying with the old dude. Yeah, she's got a point, Fushi. She's old. She knows exactly how she wants to end her life if, they, if it comes to that. <laughs> oh she bit him <laughs> can beat you to death <laughs> oh is this wound bleeding again because she bit him oh yeah he can make it that food from himself that's awesome they look good too I don't get how he can make the food from himself though it's like is he getting extra, like, nutrients? Or is it not just the same thing, regurgitating? I don't know. Oh, Gugu's on the board now. <laughs> if I looked at the board, probably, like, we're properly looking at it, I could probably take a guess as to how many more people we're going to meet. And uh, judge, judging based off of how many heads you could probably fit on the board. Um... Which is a horrible thing to think about, but I'm not going to. I'm just not going to pay attention to that, and I'm just going to go along with the story. Because let the death be a shock to me. Look at her face. <laughs> Have you got money to do this? <laughs> well, at least he knows exactly where the fucking things are, then. Maybe that warning would have been helpful for Gugu, then. Will he go back to his regular age, Fushi, or is this just going to be... He's just going to always reset to this young age. Oh, Pierdan's a good character. They all are. How's he going to climb without Mar March's form, though? Oh. Oh. I actually forgot that Pierdan obviously knew March as well. It's so crazy how the idea of the March's spirit and now Gugu's spirit are still going to be watching over him, like, all of this time. And we don't get to see them that often, but when we do, oh, I cried hard last episode. Oh, that's kind of true, yeah. You don't die unless you're forgotten. Where to One Piece. Oh, wow, it's that easy. Why does that crab have a lettuce on his head? What the hell? A crab flower. Their eyes have made of bugs. What? Oh, that's so sad. Oh. 
Oh god, so not only can he turn into Gugu, he can make a Gugu corpse. Jesus. Yeah, someone explained that to me in the comments in the last video. I appreciate that. <laughs> I was very confused as to why the thing just disappeared. Then make water. Stick your hand in this boiling pot right now, and then you'll be able to make water, right? Oh, this is going to be so cool. We're going to have a little Fushi training off. Yeah, they got some big ass ships. What the hell? This seems like a scam to be. Oh no, another new character. Oh god. Great. <laughs> oh god. They're branding them. Why are they selling them off as slaves or something? Fushi, you can surely easily break out of this. Like, what are you doing? Hmm, what is she doing with Fushi? What is this place then, though? They. What? I think Joan is my favorite form of Fushi's. It's so cute, and I love his voice when he speaks to. Oh shit. Oh. Bro, dude cracked his head open. Bro, Fushi should be like. Fushi, Fushi should like kill a bird or something. <gasps> is that what he's gonna do? Oh my god, that's genius. Are you. Fushi, you're not gonna be able to hit that thing. <laughs> Did he just get the sensation from the bow? <laughs> I like how he doesn't have to hurt himself. He can just like rub the arrow on himself and he'll make it. That's pretty cool. And why did you bring these two? They're not murderers. Oh my god. I had a feeling it was going to be something like this, where they had to make the prisoners fight. Oh my god, let's go. This is exactly what Fushi needs though. He needs this training and obviously battle experience. It's going to be cool. Alright, so that was To Your Eternity, episode 13. Um, really cool new episodes. Obviously very introductory to the new arc. Um, definitely looking forward to this. Um, really liking the idea of obviously Fushi growing in kind of battle and strength and abilities is really cool. It was nice to see that he doesn't actually have to hurt himself to acquire new objects and whatnot. It's just the sensation. Like, for example, rubbing an arrow on your hand or even a rock. Um, definitely look forward to seeing what cool abilities he's going to be able to attain um and looking forward to meeting these new characters as well but uh yeah overall a really good episode and that is that anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i certainly did and i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction thank you guys so much for watching have a nice rest of your day and peace out